That's a good return on investment. Let's compare that to Dean Runyon, who does the state economic impact research, and they do this research for about 12 states around the country, and you can see that their data for 2006 shows that Mendocino County did about $316 million in travel spending within the county in 2006. These are the most recent numbers available. That means the state and local taxes generated by travelers here comes to about $19 million. If we divide that by the 33,000 households, according to the U.S. Census Bureau in Mendocino County, those taxes paid by travelers equate to about $571 per household in Mendocino County. So what that means to you as leaders of this community is that by travelers paying taxes, it's taxes that the local residents don't have to pay. So that is tax relief for your local residents of $571 per household. So the travel industry is making a big economic impact on the county. Let's look at your lodging properties real quickly. I just want you to, this kind of statistically helps you understand you have a diverse county. About 52% of the rooms are on the north coast area. About 35% of your lodging rooms are inland. Then about 10% down at the south coast. And then you've got a few in the Anderson Valley and a few at the extreme north end of the county. Now we did a survey of the lodging properties. Got a 47% response rate by room count and said, tell us who's staying in your property last year in 2007? 91% were individual travel parties. Of those, or 48% of the total were pure leisure visitors. Then if you come down to that third line, you'll see 14% were passing through. That's a lot heavier here on the inland highway on 101 than it is on the coastal highway. And then you've got visiting friends and relatives. So we always tell you that that's good news. That means when your relatives come to visit, it's good economic impact to make them stay in a hotel. Don't let them stay at home. <laughs> then you do have some group business, absolutely. Um, some sports business, some group tour motor coach. But what we know now is that going into the big competitive battle, how do we make the most money for Mendocino County going forward? It's in that leisure market primarily. And then obviously we have the niches of some of these other niches to go after, but our primary focus will clearly be going after those leisure visitors. This is a whole this is many different ways of looking at your lodging occupancy. There's one line in there, the dark blue line, that's from Smith Travel Research. That's not our data. That came from basically all your chain affiliated hotels provide their data to Smith Travel Research. So that gives you the number you can see your chain affiliated, affiliated motels and hotels have a low of about 40% occupancy, 40 some percent in January and December, and then a standard bell curve peaking in the summer. And then if you look at the different parts of the county, some are up and some are down, but pretty much you have that standard bell curve. What that tells us is that everybody in the county is over 70% for most of the summer. So the low hanging fruit again is what we call the shoulder seasons. Your spring and fall and even going into the winter, that's where we can really make money in the future. And the beauty of that is, is now we're not overcrowding the roads during certain seasons of the year. We're spreading our business out throughout the year so it much, makes much better sense overall for the county. Now we asked the hotels, where are your people coming from? 58 of them listed places in the San Francisco Oakland Bay area of the hotels that responded. 42 said Sacramento, and then you can see the fall off. So now, according to the lodging properties, we have two very clearly defined markets geographically to go after. It's the Bay Area and Sacramento. That's the good news. The bad news is the Bay Area is one of the most expensive media markets in the nation, okay? So we have to be very focused in how we do this. We talked to the community leaders, and the community leaders said, this is a county aware of its diversity in both product and geography, but we're ready to unify and move forward. Everybody recognizes there have been bumps in the road in the past and, and issues in the past related to the promotion of tourism, but everybody's ready to stick their oars in the water and work together. From the wineries, this survey was conducted in September and October. 14 out of the 40 wineries responded to us, and basically, again, they confirmed for us it was individual travel parties, that it's not about motor coaches in large groups like you have to the county south of you. It's individual visitors, and they said, absolutely, our markets are San Francisco and the Oakland Bay Area and Sacramento. So, and it's a summer and fall season for the wineries. Now, 
talking to the customer. We did 203 intercept interviews over the summer, and then 182 mail online surveys were returned, and that represented a 16% response. We sent out 1,134 surveys. Again, what did the visitor say in both segments? San Francisco and the Bay Area and Sacramento. Again, I can't tell you how good news this is because we work with a lot of clients that have markets all over the place, and we know we've got one place, one or two places to go and get our business. Who are they? Look at the difference between the intercept and the mail and online. Two different methodologies and almost the exact same answers in terms of age. And, and it, so you have a baby boomer and Gen X market, and that's good news because those are the biggest spenders in the travel industry now. How many people are traveling? Basically, it's adults only travel parties. You have a little bit. The national statistics from the Travel Industry Association of America is that about 71% of traveling parties are adults only. It's because kids are in school a large portion of the year. So we know that, you know, with wineries and coastal and everything, it's more adults travel parties than it is with kids. And we also also see here that for the people on the street they told us the majority of them plan within the month the people who inquired the promotional alliance were planning a little further in advance and we would expect to see that um, lodging type about 34 percent stayed in